हेलो नमस्ते वेलकम टू योगा विद डॉक्टर जॉय आई एम डॉक्टर जॉय एंड आई हैव विद मी डॉक्टर गौतमी दिस इज द सेकेंड एपिसोड ऑफ योगा फॉर विंटर लास्ट वीक वी हैव शोन यू अ फ्यू योगासनाज एंड एक्सरसाइजेस फॉर द विंटर सीजन एंड in this particular episode we are moving ahead with a different set of asanas and breathing practices to counter the cold winter season also known by some as the flu season so all these practices which are going to be shown in this episode as well are going to reduce the stiffness of the joints and the joint pains they are going to improve the immunity and help us keep away from infections like flu and it is also going to keep us warm and remove the depression and the winter blues so let us start this episode with a small prayer let us join both the hands you can pray your own way just to improve the focus and improve the benefits out of these practices let us start sangacha dvam samvadadvam samvomanau sijanata deva bhagam yatha purve sanjanana upasate gently open your eyes lower your hands let us start with jogging place both the hands place the palms make a fist and place it next to the chest let's start with forward jogging try to get the thighs as close to the chest we'll practice 10 rounds let's start 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 gently stop relax catch hold of your breath practice slow breathing we'll practice one more round of jogging you can maybe practice uh, 15 to 20 as well let's start 10 more rounds 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 eight, nine, and 10 gently stop practice slow breathing relax completely we will now start with the first asana in this second episode yoga for winter it is called as chakrasana the wheel pose so for chakrasana we need to lie in the supine position that is we need to lie on the back now gently fold both the legs and get the heels close to the buttocks place some gap between the feet and be comfortable now place both the palms behind the shoulders making sure that the fingers point backwards now with inhalation one has to raise the whole body into the air and this final position would resemble a wheel the chakrasana let us start inhale and raise the whole body into the air arc the whole body this is the wheel pose or the chakrasana practice slow effortless breathing in this final position gently get back exhale and come back place the back onto the floor extend the legs place the hands next to the hips 
and relax. So one has to feel the stretching all over the body. Stretching has to be experienced in the chest and feel the strain on the low back while performing this Chakrasana. Let's perform one more time. Bend both the legs at the knee and place the heels close to the buttocks. Place the palms behind the shoulders. Fingers point towards the collarbone. Let us inhale and raise the whole body upwards into the air. Arc the whole body. This final position mimics a wheel. This is Chakrasana. Feel the stretching all over the body, the hands, legs, the chest, the abdomen. Practice slow breathing in this final position. Now slowly exhale and get back to the initial position. Extend the legs, place the back onto the floor. Get the hands next to the hips next to the legs and relax. This was Chakrasana, one of the finest asanas to be practiced in the winter season. The next asana that we are going to practice is called the Matsyasana, the fish pose, the Matsyasana. So we can practice it in this from the sitting position as well as the supine position. We'll practice as we are in the supine position, we'll practice from this supine position itself. Now let us get to Padmasana. So fold both the legs. Yes. Place the right ankle over the left thigh. Now place the left ankle over the right thigh. So this is the Padmasana position if you remember. Now place the legs onto the floor. Now, with the help of the elbows or with the help of the palms, raise the shoulders and let it be move upwards. Place the crown of the body on the floor. Let the crown of the body be placed on the floor. Now, hold both the thumbs, hold both the to toes. This is the Matsyasana. You can get the crown onto the floor firmly. So notice that the shoulders are into the air. This is Matsyasana. The neck is extended. This is one of the best asanas to stimulate the thyroid gland and which maintains the body heat and maintains the uh, the release of uh, the uh, controls the heat loss now gently with the help of the elbows extend and place the head onto the floor use the palms and use the elbows Extend both the legs and come back to the relaxed Shavasana position. We can, uh, after sufficient relaxation, we can maybe practice one more round of Matsyasana. Once you are comfortable and once you have caught your breath, you can practice one more round. Let us start. Interlock both the legs. Yes. Place the right ankle over the left thigh and the left ankle over the right thigh. Yes. Use your palms and the elbow and push the head upwards slightly more. Push the head. Use your palms and push the head. Place the crown of the head on the floor. Let the shoulders be in the air. 
notice that the neck is extended completely. Practice slow, effortless breathing. This is Matsyasana. Now gently extend or straighten the neck and place the head on the ground. Release the hands, extend both the legs and come back to the Shavasana and relax. So we have practiced Chakrasana and the second asana that is Matsyasana which will uh, help in producing body heat and also help in controlling the heat loss from the body. The next asana that we are going to practice is called as Dhanurasana. So let us lie in the prone position, lie on the abdomen, extend the hands above the head. For Dhanurasana now we need to fold the legs first at the knee. Yes, take both the hands backwards and hold the ankles. Now inhale and raise the legs, the knees and the chest into the air. Look upwards. Let's start. Inhale. Yes, this is the bow position. That is the Dhanurasana. Make sure that the whole body is lying only on the abdomen. Feel the pressure on the abdomen and feel the arcing of the whole body. Practice slow breathing in this final position, the Dhanurasana. Gently now release your hands, extend the legs, place them onto the floor, place the hands above the head and relax for a while. We will practice Dhanurasana one more time. Yes, let's start. Bend both the legs and hold the ankles with the palms. Yes, inhale and raise the whole body in the air. Only the abdomen is placed on the floor. This is Dhanurasana for you from the front end. Practice slow breathing. Hold for a few seconds. Slow effortless breathing. Now gently exhale and release your hands. Extend the hands above the head. Place the legs on the floor. Relax in Makarasana. Hands one above the other. Keep some gap between both the heels. Toes point outwards. Relax for a few seconds in Makarasana. We will now take a short break and I will see you on the other side of the break. Namaste. Welcome back. We have just finished practicing a few asanas. Now we will start with the pranayamas which are going to produce body heat and help us cope up with the cold winter season. We will start with the favorite Surya Anuloma Viloma that is the right nostril breathing. Let us uh, first assume the Nasika Mudra. Yes, I request Gautami to show the Nasika Mudra. Yes, let it face the nose. Yes, close the left nostril. Keep the right nostril open. Now, in Surya Anuloma Viloma, we have to inhale and exhale only through the right side. Let's start. Close your eyes. Let the breathing be slightly faster and deeper. Let's start. Inhale deeply 
and exhale completely slightly faster and deep breathing inhale and exhale continue the practice so this is breathing through the right nostril only surya anuloma viloma so this right nostril breathing improves or increases the body heat let the exhalation be longer than inhalation we'll practice 10 rounds of it two more rounds surya anuloma viloma gently stop the practice and relax just observe the changes that are brought about by this practice of surya anuloma viloma the right nostril breathing keep your eyes closed let us practice one more round of surya anuloma viloma close the left nostril inhale and exhale only through the right side let's start inhale deeply and exhale slowly yes inhale exhale completely seven more rounds let the inhalation and exhalation be slightly faster just like how we practiced in the first round surya anuloma viloma is simple right nostril breathing it improves or and increases the body heat three more rounds inhale and exhale only through the right side keep the left nostril closed inhalation and exhalation only through the right nose gently stop the practice just observe the changes keep the eyes closed Next, we shall practice Surya Bhedana. In Surya Bhedana, one has to inhale through the right and exhale through the left nostril. Use the Nasika Mudra. Close the left nostril. So you are flexing the index and the middle finger and closing the left nostril with the little finger and the ring finger. Yes, inhale, take a deep breath through the right side, close the right nostril, open the left nostril, exhale through the left. Once again, open the right nostril, inhale through the right, close the right and exhale through the left. Close the left, inhale through the right, close the right nostril and exhale to the left continue the practice for seven more rounds this is surya bhedana pranayama surya bhedana pranayama also produces a lot of body heat and will help in countering the cold atmosphere we'll practice four more rounds Make sure that the exhalation is longer than inhalation and exhale to the left, inhale to the right, exhale to the left, two more rounds, inhale to the right, close the right nostril, exhale to the left, 
inhale through the right exhale through the left gently stop the practice just observe the changes brought about by this surya bhedana pranayama just relax for a while we'll practice one more round of surya bhedana let's start close the left nostril inhale through the right and exhale through the left close close the left inhale through the right exhale through the left inhale through the right exhale through the left continue five more rounds this is surya bhedana pranayama just observe inhaling through the right and exhaling through the left open the left nostril and exhale open the right nostril inhale continue for two more rounds gently stop the practice and relax so i hope you have understood surya bhedana pranayama keep your eyes closed and observe the changes brought about the, by the practice it's simple one has to close the left nostril inhale through the right then close the right side open the left nostril and exhale through the left simple inhale through the right nostril and exhale through the left nostril this was surya bhedana pranayama i hope you have rested for a while now let us start with the bhastrika pranayama which will also help in improved oxygenation of the blood and will also improve the body heat for this bend the hands at the elbow place the wrists in front of the chest one has to inhale and raise the hands above the head exhale and get both the hands again in front of the chest we'll practice 10 rounds let's start inhale exhale inhale exhale continue the practice so bhastrika is forceful inhalation and forceful exhalation notice that while inhaling the hands are pushed upwards and while exhaling the hands are pulled downwards and placed in front of the chest two more rounds gently stop the practice place your hands on the knees and relax observe the changes keep your eyes closed and observe the changes just relax for a while observe the changes in breath observe the changes in the body heat brought about by this bhastrika pranayama let's practice 10 more rounds place both your hands in front of the chest make a fist let's start 10 rounds inhale exhale continue forceful inhalation and forceful exhalation this is bhastrika pranayama for you gently stop the practice get both your hands on the knees and relax keep your eyes closed practice slow breathing and relax next we shall practice the kapalabhati pranayama in kapalabhati one has to 
practice forceful exhalation and passive inhalation. While exhaling, one has to flap the abdomen. The abdomen moves inwards with every exhalation and the abdomen comes back to its resting position during the passive inhalation stage. Let's start. Close your eyes. Place your hands on the knees. Let's start. This is active exhalation and passive inhalation. Five more rounds. Gently stop the practice and observe the changes. Observe the cessation of breath brought about by this Kapalabhati. Observe the silence, the stoppage of breath brought about by Kapalabhati. Let us practice one more round of Kapalabhati. Let's practice 10 times. Let's start. Forceful exhalation and passive inhalation. Gently stop the practice. So here we complete the practice of pranayamas which are helpful for us in this winter season, the season of flu. I hope you have enjoyed these practices shown to you in this second episode. Keep practicing all the yogasanas and stretching exercises, the breathing practices shown in the first episode as well as the second episodes. Maybe you can practice them alternate on alternate days and make yourself fit in this winter season. We will end this episode here now with a Shanti Mantra. Let us join both the hands. Close our eyes and chant the prayer. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramayaha Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Ma Kaschid Dukkha Bhag Bhavet Om Shanti 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 You can also follow us on YouTube. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Namaste.